G'day, Ben here from on3legs.com and in this video I'm going to show you how Topaz Clary works. So what I've got opened up here is a, uh, an image of a Melbourne laneway with some graffiti art in it that I took uh, using my Fuji X-T1 and this image is a raw file completely raw file there's nothing done to this image and I've done it on purpose just so you can see how Topaz Clarity works now Topaz um, is one of my all-time favorite plugins for Photoshop it, you don't have to use it as a plugin you can use it as a standalone product I'm going to be using it as a plugin in this video so you can see how it works and if you like Topaz, any of the Topaz products, not just this one, and you want to get a discount, I'm going to give you a coupon code at the end of the video that you can uh, that you can use to get a a little bit of a saving, and uh, and hopefully that'll help you uh, buy more lenses or do something like that. But anyway, let's get stuck into having a look at how Topaz Clarity works, and uh, and why it is that I love using it. So I'm in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my layer. I do that. Uh, using Command J, you can use Control J for on a PC. And the reason I do that is just gives me a backup of the image. And the other reason I do that is because I don't always like to use the entire image from Topaz. Quite often, I'll mask through areas. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you how the masking works inside Topaz Clarity. All right, so I just go in Photoshop. We go to Filter, Topaz Labs, and then Topaz Clarity. Choose that from the list. And it will open up the plugin. Now you'll see what will happen is it'll take a fair bit of time to open. And this is probably my my biggest uh, bugbear with Topaz Clarity is that every time you choose one of these collections on the left, it takes uh, a fair bit of time to build up the previews. And so what it's doing is building up a preview for each of these previews on the left. So you can see that I've got the collection of architects selected, selected, and then it's got a, uh, how many about eight presets there for architecture. If I choose landscape now you see what happens it now goes into preparing previews and because there's a lot more previews it's going to take a lot longer and it's a little bit annoying but um, it actually saves you time because you can just hover over the preview or the preset and see the preview I know so you know probably the most annoying thing is this unfortunately um, be good if they could do this a better way uh, but if I was to go through each one of these we'd be here forever waiting for them to, to load up so let's have a look and just have a look at some of these previews and see what we've got here um, you can see that it changes quite dramatically depending on what you're on and you know so this is the landscape I'll go back to architecture and you can sort of see it really does make the image pop in different ways I'm just picking one that I like I'm gonna go with uh, which one I go to? I don't like the, the contrast in that. I want something a little less contrasty. Oh. Uh, I might go with uh, Cityscape. Ooh, which one I go with? I'm going to go with Cityscape 2. So I'm going to choose that one. And you'll see that straight away it's done um, you know, a fairly good job in bringing the oomph out of the image. Uh, I'll show you the original. That's the original and that's the processed. The original file, process file. You can also do a split screen to see the uh, original versus the process. So the original on the left, you can see it's very flat. On the right, you can see it's really nice and vibrant. You can see what Clarity has done. And that's just using the preset. I haven't done anything else yet. Um, and so you can sort of get an idea of, of how the process works or how the software works. Um, now that I've chosen my preset, I'm going to close the collections down. All right, and that makes my image a bit bigger. And so now let's put our attention onto the right hand side, uh, the toolbox here, uh, where you can do different things. So now that I've got the image to that point, I might go, okay, well I want to do some other things to it. And you can see that it, because it's a preset, all of these sliders have already been moved. Now the way this works is you've got this top area here, which is the dynamics and the tone level to do with the clarity. You can also adjust the opacity, so how much the effect is coming through on the original image. And you know I think that's always a good thing so you can always you know if you think it's too much you can always back it off a bit I'm going to put it back to 100 um, the other thing you can do is you can use a mask so let's say that I really liked the effect but I didn't want this uh, part of the building at the back of the, the in the middle of the shot there to be uh, enhanced I can then grab a brush you can see I've got it on black which is hide white is reveal so if you can same as in Photoshop white reveals black conceals and uh, I can now use a brush or I can use a graduated filter, whatever I want, but I'm going to use a brush and I can just brush over that area and get rid of the effect on that part of the image. 
and you can see on my mask up the top right hand corner here it's showing you exactly where I just brushed through so you can use a mask uh, for clarity the other section they've got in here is the hue saturation and luminosity same thing you can pick the opacity and if we go through you'll see that these sliders are already adjusted based on the preset okay so you can see there's this preset adds a little bit of saturation overall and you can see that the luminosity has been changed between um, you know every different colors got a little bit of an effect on it uh, the only one that hasn't is magenta and is zero and overalls is zero but everything else has been moved slightly and you can decide whether or not you even want to turn that on or off so you can see if I turn that on or off you can see the difference in the image um, same thing you can also go well I don't want it to be um, you know as, as crazy as it is in some areas so you can do the same thing you can reveal or hide and using a mask for um, for that particular part of the program so for the you know if I'm using as you can see that's on uh, uh, luminosity so I can now use this mask to sort of reduce the luminosity if I wanted to uh, but I'm not going to do that today but this, that'll sort of give you an idea of how that works so essentially you know quite often you could just get away with using a preset now it's not as sharp as it could be in here and the reason for that is that I am using a, a retina display and uh, you may not see it on your monitor but on mine I can see this is not uh, this is not crystal clear it's not sharp so I'm just going to say OK to process this and put it back into Photoshop and Photoshop will works well with a retina display so you'll see the difference straight away uh, so it just takes a little while for it to process a couple of, couple of uh, well, 20 seconds or so and then we'll be able to see the final result so there we go there's the final result that's my uh, processed layer and if I look at the original there's the original and there's the processed so you can see there's a huge difference really brings the image to life and instead of having a dull flat image remember that was a raw file I can now just use a simple plugin to really make the image pop and uh, and come to life now I mentioned that I was going to give you a coupon code if you're watching this video before the 31st of October 2014 uh, good news Topaz have got a deal on where you can save 25% by using a code and the code is OCT Clarity OCT Clarity uh, but don't worry if it's after that date you can still get a coupon code but it's for 15% which is still better than a poke in the eye with a tripod leg uh, and to get the 15% off so if it's after October 31 2014 use the code on three legs and that's with the number three on three legs uh, just think of the tripod so OCT Clarity if it's before October 31 you'll get 25% off on three legs if it's after Octo October 31 2014 and you'll still get 15% off so hopefully you found this video useful uh, you know, I, actually, I, I use uh, Topaz Clarity on pretty much every image that I process, uh, usually not to this extreme. This one here's got street art and you want it to pop, um, but it's always good to be able to bring out parts of your image and, uh, and bring them to life. So there you go. Until next time, take care.